What's up, Fish Tank TV? This is Bobby Fish Tank. Bring you an educational video right here. And, and my cat is going to help us here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. See this cat? He's really cute. Alright. So, we are going to talk about um, raising pH with salts. Now, this is a method that I personally use, which I think is much better. It's much cheaper. Um, but it's also more healthy for the fish. Let me explain to you why. Alright. So what salt I use is reef aquarium systems, reef crystals. Why reef crystals? Well, in this salt there's actually going to be calcium um, and different trace elements which are very important for your um, aquarium and it's going to increase the GH, the KH as well as the pH and all of those three factors are very very important in a cichlid tank. Alright, so the reason I use reef crystals is that in a reef tank you need to have a lot of calcium because corals, if you know a lot about reef um, aquariums, you know that corals actually need calcium um, as a supply, almost like plants need, you know, um, iron in a planted tank like this. So um, that was kind of a little, um, you know, thing to talk to guys, freshwater guys about. And um, yeah, that is how I can explain it explain it to you really uh, because calcium is going to increase pH if you know um, you know they if you want to um, what people normally do when they want to increase the pH I mean they use calcium so yeah I'm just going to put my cat outside because this guy seems to be wants to go 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 out dude dude sorry for the camera string right here go out Move it! See you later! Alright, there we go. So, um, the calcium in this is going to be very, very efficient for your cigarette tank. But how to dose it and how much to dose? Well, it kind of depends on p tank size. But the general rule is about a tablespoon per five gallons. Um, now, there are some people who maybe add um, for example, this is a 50 gallon tank and normally you had to add t 10 teaspoons of reef crystals in here but some people actually prefer to put like two more t uh, tablespoons in just to make the pH extra buffered. Um, you know, you can do that, um, there's no problem with that but you want to go slowly, okay? If you're just starting out with putting salts in, you want to slowly dose it. And how to do this? Well. You just take a basic can, a plastic can, or um, a big, um, you know, glass of um, of water, and you just fill it um, with some dechlorinator. You of course need to have it dechlorinated, and then you just put in some um, reef crystals. Um, for example, here for my 50 gallon, I would be adding. Um, I will start out by adding like four tablespoons. Okay, so I will add that into the um, the can. I'll mix it around with the tablespoon and you basically want it to um, when you're actually making when you're doing like this you know it will, the water will go around like this and make like a little whirlwind in the middle of that whirlwind if you didn't mix it properly it's going to say like this sizzling noise like pshhh and if it says, says that then it means you need to uh, be mixing even more so when that is gone you're sure that the salt is mixed then what you want to do is spread it all over the aquarium so you just open the top, pour some in, in the front, all the way uh, along the front and also in the back so it can spread um, also in front of the pump so it can circulate around in the tank um, then you just wait about two hours and you'll see how your fish is doing if your fish are doing really really well then you're just going to add three tablespoons more maybe or four, it kind of depends on what you, how fast you want to put it in but to make really sure just put three in then you pour that in and you just keep doing that until you get to the right amount, okay? So get a little bit of hour, um, you know, get some hours between those um, dosing um, times because you want to make your fish used to it slowly. So let's talk about the benefits of salt. Well, um, salt actually helps fish, freshwater fish breathing. Now, <laughs> not if you put too much in, of course, then they're just going to dry out. But if you... Um, a freshwater fish always want to constantly have water out of their body 
Um, and the salt is basically going to help them uh, get it out of their body um, because it comes into their body and yeah it's kind of hard to explain but it helps them to breathe um, but if you put too much salt in basically the fish will dry out so you want to make sure you put the correct amount in alright so other benefits of salt well if you have cloudy eye um, like um, I have had some cichlid that ha cichlids that have cloudy eye um, salt will cure it immediately. I mean, in for about a half a week or so, it will be gone. Um, and uh, other benefits? Well, if your fish have has wounds, um, which typically cichlids have because, you know, they come up and fight every now and again, then, um, you know, you're going to have, um, you know, something to, some salt actually that is going into the wounds and helping it to actually, um, you know, heal. So um, that is much more healthy for your fish. It also keeps, um, you know, like uh, ick and, you know, basic stuff like this. You know, all these um, body infections and, um, you know, parasites. It will basically kill them off. So, yeah, there is not much else to it. Um, but maybe um, a thing you will notice when you're just putting the salt in is that your water is going to be a little cloudy. You will also see this in a salt water tank when you're just putting the salt in, it will get a little cloudy, but it's because the uh, salt is mixing around um, and it should disappear within two days or so. So yeah, that is basically all. Um, it is, in my opinion, the most um, cheap, um, oh well that is not my opinion, that is everybody's opinion, but it's much cheaper than um, you know putting um, chemicals in and it's much healthier than putting chemicals in because I'm not saying that chemicals are not healthy but they don't really do a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for your fish I mean for my um, you know my holding female tank here I use chemicals because it's a smaller tank it's much much cheaper and um, I of course can use salt in this but she's not used to salt so I basically want to you know just add some GH plus in here and then the, both the pH, the KH and the GH is going to increase actually which I've seen um, which is kind of funny but it actually works on all of, of those three um, elements alright so yeah there's not much else to it um, my fish love it um, I even keep synodontis and what people typically say is that um, you know it's not good for scale this fish but Synodontis really likes salt. You can see he's just chilling down there. I got another Synodontis. Wherever he is, he's hiding in the back right there. You can see his whiskers. Um, so yeah, they love it. Um, they're much more active. And uh, they, I've seen the, that they had a little bit of wounds in their body. So it has healed, um, which is really nice to see. I also got a Plago, a huge Plago to just clean the glass. And I mean, this guy has no problems at all. He loves it. So, yeah. Um, I keep Mabuna, Peacocks, Haps, um, and Teganikans, you know. I got the Frontosa. So everything is going fine. Um, I also have some plants like Java Fern and Nubius. I mean, it's all okay. Um, there's no problems at all. So, yeah. Um, I hold it, hope it explained enough. Um, and I, re I mean, it has really helped on my tank a lot. I mean, look at this guy right here, my Cytotrophius Seleucii. This guy, if he turns around, you'll see that he has gotten bitten in the eye. Um, turn around, buddy. Yeah, there you can see it. It's not cloudy eye, but um, it is basically because he got bitten in the eye, and I think it's another infection than cloudy eye because he was all red um, before I put the salt in. But when I put the salt in, it actually seemed to like disappear a little bit, which is really nice to see. So I think this guy is going to be okay in um, um, a month or so uh, when it's healed. So yeah, I'm going to keep you updated on that. Um, all of my fish are doing well, by the way. They love the salt, um, especially my German Red. Just look at those colors. That is crazy. Um, I've got some comments on Gem and Red um, tutorial Tuesday um, where people were saying he was really cool and I appreciate that. Um, I have done everything to keep his colors buffing um, and he seems to be really really colorful. I haven't seen any Gem and Red like this. That is crazy. So yeah, see you guys in another video.